Welcome to YouTuber Headlines. Today we're covering Aspen and Parker. I have so much to fill you guys in on. Aspen is making a lot of changes on her social media platform and in her personal life. They're selling their dream home. Can you believe it? I feel like they've been building that thing forever as a basketball court and now it's on the market. Honestly, I just feel like it does not connect in my brain that people actually like watch these videos and I always think no one will notice or care if I like didn't post anything. But I think that's so weird for her to say this. She has over 2 million followers on YouTube. Her videos get tons of views. Some videos get 300,000 views. A lot of her videos get over 200,000 views per video. So she's still doing pretty good on YouTube. And for her to just say, oh, I don't even think anybody watches is weird. The new house, it still is not done. It's taking way longer than we ever would have thought it would. We were like a thousand percent sure that we were gonna be in by Christmas. Aspen filmed this video three weeks ago and they recently put this house on the market. It's for sale. I am shocked by the price. I am shocked that some 20 something year olds can afford a house like this, or maybe they can't afford it now. And that's why they're selling it. I need to go on like a social media break. I'm not sure how long and I'm not sure exactly when, but this is something that I just know that I need to do. I don't know if I'll post a vlog about it when I do it. I probably will, but. A lot of people are confused by this social media break Aspen's taking because she's not clear as to why she's taking it. And of course she doesn't have to be, but she's not clear. So people are assuming a lot of different things are going on. I have also decided that we are going to pause my clothing store. I love my clothing store. I've had it for uh, six years. It's a business that I run with my mom. The Instagram account says, we've had an incredible journey for the last six years and look forward to what the future may bring. So there's no promise she's going to open this boutique back up. I think she's done with it. That's my opinion. I wanted to kind of just be able to take a break from that and just reevaluate the direction that I want the brand to go in. Because I feel like the problem that I've always had is obviously brands kind of grow and evolve and change with the times. But at the same time, they kind of have like who they are at their core. And I feel like I struggle with that a lot with my brand. Just a user on Reddit said, wait, so all that talk she just needs to think about the direction to take it in was just kind of a lie when really she knew all along they were definitely ending it? Shady. Because I feel like it's a reflection of me and obviously as time goes on and things are different and life happens, I have different things that I like, different styles. But anytime that I've tried to kind of like make big changes with anything, I have found that it's extremely hard to do that while still actually like running the business. I feel like at this point, she's just giving us a lot of excuses and the runaround. If she wanted to close her boutique, just say, hey, I'm not feeling this anymore. It's not something I want to do anymore and just close it. We've had a lot of stuff going on and obviously we share our lives online, but we don't share everything and right now or soon ish. I'm just really wanting to kind of take some time to be offline and I have never taken a break for longer than maybe like a week or two in the entire 12 years that I've done YouTube. But I think it will be really nice to just spend good quality time with my family. And I'm because Aspen has been so vague and secretive about this social media break, it has a lot of people wondering what's up. So some people thought maybe they're having some marriage issues. Maybe they're just going through something or possibly separated. But Aspen was quick to squash those rumors. I think Aspen heard some of those rumors online because soon after she posted that video, she went to Instagram and posted this, which shows Parker, and she wrote a family trip to Target. I think this was her way of saying, no, everything's good here. Long, And we normally take a break the week after Christmas. Like we'll, we've always taken a break from Christmas to New Year's, but I don't have anything on my calendar going up until next week because as of this point in time, um, we pretty much only do sponsored videos because YouTube does take up so much time. People might think it's simple, not a job, whatever. It takes up a lot of my time and I cannot justify that time away from my kids if I'm Let's just say she gets 200,000 views on a video with no sponsor. That's approximately $2,000. So in her mind, it's not worth $2,000 to get up a YouTube video? How much money does this chick have? I think most people would put up a YouTube video if they could make a couple thousand dollars. I mean, some of her videos get more than 200,000 views. They get three and 400,000 views. So she seems so out of touch here from it that's just the truth 
that's the tea and i've been posting a lot on tiktok which is super fun but i also don't make a lot of money from tiktok hold on a second make this make sense she doesn't want to do youtube where she can actually make thousands of dollars guaranteed on her videos because she gets the views she doesn't want to do that, but she wants to spend her time on TikTok making content where she doesn't make a lot of money. She just said that. Can somebody make this make sense? So I'm on a TikTok kick right now and we'll see how long and then it lasts because even though the videos are simple, like this does take up my time. Next, she posts another video on TikTok about YouTube stating how she wants to get back to posting at least one video a week on YouTube like they've always done. I feel like she's so wishy-washy. I just can't keep up with what she's saying. I definitely don't watch YouTube quite as much anymore and I do spend more time on TikTok and I do plan to be posting more YouTube videos eventually like I was. Normally we would post like around one video a week. Yeah, why would she not post a video on YouTube? Even if she doesn't have any sponsors and she continues to pull in the same amount of views, she could easily make $10,000 or more on YouTube for just posting four videos a month. Seems like an easy $10,000. Why would you not do that? I think some creators are so spoiled. The amount of money they can make or do make on social media is just crazy. I feel like these days with TikTok, it's just so much harder to fill so much space in a YouTube video. Like I can sit and talk for 60 seconds or I can show you guys my makeup and take three minutes and that's great. But sometimes to fill a whole vlog of like 20 minutes with talking or whatever, it's like, what am I supposed to say for that amount of time? What have you been doing for the last 12 years? She's a chatty person. I'm sure she can figure it out. Plus you don't have to make 20 minute videos on YouTube. You could make a four minute video or an eight minute video. When I could just go on TikTok and I could literally post like a day in my life on YouTube, it's like 20 minutes, so much time to fill, or I can do a day in my life on TikTok, share the exact same thing, but it can literally be like 60 seconds long. So I feel like, yeah, YouTube's kind of just in a weird, hard place lately. I think she's overthinking this. She's an OG YouTuber. And for her to sit here and act like she doesn't know how to do YouTube anymore is weird. Do you think this is weird? This is so weird to me. And I feel like it has been for a while since TikTok has been so popular and people definitely still watch YouTube. Um, I think especially like vlogs or get ready with me's or like things like that. But I think just as a creator, especially right now where I'm kind of just being a little bit more chill with everything I'm doing and just sharing less, it's like, I don't know what to say for that long. I think these are all excuses and she's acting like a YouTube video has to be like an hour long or something and it doesn't. If you do an eight minute YouTube video, you can add as many ads as you want. And that's what most YouTubers shoot for, at least an eight minute video. We have our vlog channel, which normally we post pretty consistently on. Um, right now I'm posting a little bit less just cause I want to take a break from it. I'll still be posting like whenever I feel like it. I'm not officially like on a break for a certain amount of time or whatever, I don't really know. Okay, so now she's saying she's not on a break. And I honestly think she's saying that because she still wants sponsorships. Sponsorships pay thousands, and th I mean 5,000, 10,000, depending on the sponsorship, she can make a ton of money. And if you say you're on a social media break, then you can't do a sponsorship. So I think that's why she's backing away from saying she's on a break. Because if she gets a sponsorship, she's going to do it. Like she just said in that clip, I only do sponsored videos. If you're at the point where you're only doing sponsored videos, I think you have lost your passion for YouTube and viewers will pick up on that. I mean, she's being pretty blunt about it. She's saying, I'm only doing sponsored videos. Viewers will get tired of that fast. No viewer wants to watch only sponsored videos. It feels like you're doing it just for the money and it makes like your whole content just start to feel icky. Um, but for my main channel, I feel like those channels like do not exist anymore. Those are not the channels that I watch. Like when I think about people who make the same kind of like content as me or that I used to make like back in the day, I don't even know what type of content people are like making anymore. How can she sit here and say she can't talk long enough to fill up a YouTube video? Do you hear her? She won't shut up. All she's doing is talking. She's not even breathing at this point. She's just constantly talking. I just think she's making excuses. She doesn't want to do YouTube anymore. She's lost passion for YouTube, it seems like. So just stop. Just don't do it then. Next, I got to talk about this slick, messy bun that she wears all the time because <laughs> just watch this video with me, okay? Tell me what you think about this. But I just discovered the slick back messy bun and it's so cute so easy nothing against aspen i think she's beautiful but i am not loving this hairstyle 
There's one part in this video you have to see. I almost died when I saw this. Look at the little twig right here. She pulls it out. She purposely pulls it out so that it sticks out. I don't see a lot of people wearing this hairstyle. And what do you think about this social media break? But it's really not a break because she's only going to come back and do videos when she has a sponsorship. Talk about a money grab. Okay, so what do you think about Aspen closing her boutique, selling her custom build dream home? This house is a massive, has a basketball court. It's crazy. Let me know what you think about this. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.